We got a massive new Valhalla update that is out right now with a brand new game mode that is a ton of fun so far. A lot of new gear and weapons to collect, yes including Skadi's Blade. There are also a lot of fixes and quality of life improvements, so I want to go over everything you need to know in this video. A like would of course really help me out. And let's go. Final time to enter my current weekly Helix credit pack giveaway for 2,300 credits. You can enter via the link in the pinned comments. And of course, be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. And good luck. After installing the 5 to almost 20 gigs updates, depending on your platform, you see the different sizes right here. If you then load into the game for the first time, you will see a pop-up saying that the Mastery Challenge game mode is now available. And also that Vaughn's shop has a new armor set available. But only if you mastered the first River Raid pack, so likely completed those missions that came with those River Raids. I will touch on this armor set in a moment. Let's first go over the Master Challenges, which will be available after reaching power level 221 and doing one story arc in England. Then you will get the quest, which has you go to the crash site. I won't spoil things that are unnecessary, just follow the quest and then at one point you are tasked to find one of the shrines which is close to a fast travel point. Here you need to do three challenges. Bear are the warrior challenges. This one has you push enemies of ledges to get kills that way. You can do that by using your hammer or using the kick of tear ability. You also just have to kill enemies by using a melee weapon. You only have a specific loadout so you need to use those things that are given to complete the challenge. The wolf challenge has you kill enemies in indirect ways, so use the explosives or the other things in the environment to take them out. Here you can by the way also push them off ledges with the left hand attack which helped me get the gold medal. And the raven challenge has you remain anonymous for the whole challenge, which can be hard with some of the stealth detection issues in Valhalla right now. But overall I do like how you have to play it smart and once again use the limited tools in order to succeed. A key thing is that if you complete the final objective, so in this case get all the artifacts, then the mission will immediately stop. So good to keep that in mind and for example take out all the enemies first before you get all the artifacts. I do it wrong here so learn from my mistakes and after doing these mastery challenges you can return to the settlement and see the new items that Hildren has for sale. Six new weapons, five settlement items and four tattoos. And by getting medals from these challenges you earn energy which you can then exchange for these items. And I will go way more in depth on this mode to highlight the items in action, in the settlement etc. When I get more time to play. Now it's just an overview of what you can expect. I really like it so far, there are 15 challenges in total, which is quite a lot. And we of course also have that mysterious door, like what is behind that. So when we know more about that, I'll of course let you know here. What is already good to know right now is that there is a time limited challenge in the Ubisoft Connect time limited section for the Skadi's Blade. Yes, the Frozen X is now finally obtainable in the game. And you can get it for one week only by simply playing this new Mastery Challenge mode. You need to complete one Mastery Challenge with the gold medal and then go to the Ubisoft Connect section, claim the prize and the weapon will be yours. It's not good or anything in terms of stats, but it of course looks amazing and it's a weapon we've been waiting for for a long time. So awesome that it's finally in the game. And more new items are added to Vaughn's shop for the River Raids and you see them after completing the first River River Raid missions. Every piece costs 450 supplies, so you need 2250 supplies in total. And as I noted in my previous video, they increase the amount of supplies you can get when doing a heavy river defense mission. Then every crate will give you 60 supplies instead of 50. But the sad part is that they did not increase the amount of cargo you can carry. So at one point you will have 360 supplies and the next chest will of course only give you 40. So yeah, you're only saving one crate per run. First you needed 8 to get to 400 and now you need 7 to reach 400 cargo. So yes, it will take some time to get the full armor set for sure. From what we unlocked so far, it looks awesome and it changes when you upgrade it at Gunner as well. The helm is completely unique and I think it looks awesome. The rest of the armor set seems to be inspired by the same George's and the Fane set which I think is fine for a random new armor like I prefer this over no new free armor at all 
The perks seem pretty good too. We'll go more in depth on it in a future video. Overall, I'm happy that we got a good reason to boot up the river raids again. Now let's move on to the new skills. When you open the skill page for the first time after installing the update, you see the three new nodes appear, which brings the max level to 430, by the way, right now. So what I did is go to some altars in Ireland that I still had left over to get some skill points. You can also just reset some nodes that you don't really need to immediately unlock the new skills. The Mounted Archer is awesome because it lets you use abilities when on horseback, like Fire Strike to get the Flaming Arrows while on horseback. You can also now just ride into a camp, do the focus of Nornir to slow down the time, or take out multiple enemies with the Mark of Death ability. Like this totally opens up some cool new possibilities. Shieldmaster is amazing and totally a must if you love using shields. As Eivor will turn to the enemy that is attacking. So switch directions, which is really good. While first we thought it was only for arrows, turns out it's for melee attacks too. So you're basically in autopilot, also when two enemies engage and attack from both directions, you just block them easily. It's especially awesome with a heavy shield, like you're blocking everything, arrows, rocks, melee attacks. It totally fits the shield master name. Unstoppable throws enemies on the ground. If you run into them in combat, it will cost a small bit of stamina though. But it can be quite handy to get some crowd control going when surrounded by a lot of enemies. It doesn't really seem to work when locking onto a target though, so good to keep that in mind. Like, this enemy won't budge, and knocking enemies off a ledge also doesn't seem to be possible, but still, a pretty nice new addition. And we also got a ton of fixes and quality of life additions. One big one is regarding the runes. First, the menu of course looked like this, and you could not see more than 100 runes in this menu. So if you had more than 100 runes, you could not use all of them. Well, after the update, you already see that the menu has changed and now you can see 300 runes in total. It does take some time to load for me though, but that's likely because I have a ton of these runes. You see footage here from Joyce where she can more easily switch between the slots. We can now finally sort runes, something I always wanted. You can sort by lost looted, by upgrade level, so then you see all the great runes first, but still the runes of the same name under each other. And you can also switch to category, which shows all the runes of the same name under each other, including the great, regular and minor runes. You can now also unsock it one rune with a press of a button, or unsock it all of them with one press of the button. Button. really convenient you can also see which rune is on which item as someone who spends way too much time in the rune menu this is all amazing now i hope they add new runes based on recently released perks and also give us like better ways to get the rune that we want so we can really like go hey I want this rune, okay, I need to do this and this to get it. That would be great. If you got the map pack from the Helix store, including like the Opal, then this should now also appear in Ireland. So the map looked like this at first, but now after the update, you indeed see a lot of like Opal icons on the map, which is also great. First, we would have very unrealistic dates in the own section where it was noted that you got particular items in 1970. Well, now they fixed it by just removing the dates altogether. That's one way to do it, I guess. You likely know the star icon on a weapon or gear piece, which noted that this item was transmarked. Well, now if you go into the details page, you also see that it is transmarked. Moving on to the Irish Wolfhound, because as I showed you before in a previous video, this ability was kind of broken when used against sellouts. You would summon the hounds and they would just run away. Well, now the ability does work properly when you use it against regular enemies. You can only summon it in combat, by the way, but when fighting a Cellot, you cannot use the ability anymore. What you can do is fight some smaller enemies first and then use the ability to summon the Wolfhound, but you will just see that he will ignore the Cellot, and then when he's like gone, you cannot summon the Wolfhound again. 
Luckily, the man's best friend still works against these roaming bosses. First, you could not assassinate a target when you use the lynx or lion mount, but now after the update we tested for both mounts, you can assassinate the target. When you used a predator bow with the druidic helm or with the mystical helm, you would first not really see a lot, like your view would be blocked, but if you now after the update with the helm use the predator bow, they completely fix that. Also nice to know is that the bonus content unlocked message is now gone. First it would of course show up all the time. And also nice is that the rumble and visual effect when sliding with a sickle is now fixed after the patch too. Faint Dev was not working properly for some people. This should now also be fixed as they note in the patch notes. But they also said that they addressed various clipping issues but things like the hidden blade with the Basim outfit or like some sickle clipping is still in the game. So I'm not sure what they fixed with that. Of course, if you found some fixes for clipping issues, let me know in the comments down below. And they also mention addressed various weapon and gear graphics issues. I know some people had problems with the Children of Danu in the Wrath of the Druids DLC where they would not give you all the shards so you could not complete the quest to get the amazing spear. Well, they now note in the patch notes that this has been addressed, so let me know if it works for you. They also say that they finally fixed the old cellar mystery issue, which is needed for the Excalibur. Totally let me know also if that is fixed for you. And another thing that I want to highlight is the fact that they fixed another issue for the Sword Shower mission, which you see right here, and that still has quite a lot of progression problems. We can, by the way, confirm that that Yums Viking bug has been fixed, where the gear loadout would reset every time you reload it then has had that issue but now after installing the patch the issue is gone and there are way more fixes for really specific things i will link to the patch notes in the video description so you can see if the issue you had is resolved I wanted to focus, of course, on the most important things here in this video. And also, and it's important, if you found some secret changes, so things they changed or added that I did not mention here in this video, then totally email me to the input at drafter.com email address or let me know in the comments under this video. I will totally do a secret changes video really, really soon. So totally subscribe for that and, of course, all the other coverage like the weekly reset, mastery challenges, way, way more videos are coming your way. A like on this video would of course really help me out. And totally check out my previous video on what is going to happen beyond the Mastery Challenge update. You can watch that by clicking on the screen or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. You can of course send in your shots to the Valhalla with the hashtag on Twitter. Or by using the dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments. Once you are there, accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay, Joyce, come in, the Photomon expert here on the channel. You, of course, as always, selected three shots from the community, so let's get into it. What's up, everyone? First up is Nima over on Twitter, where Eivor is teaming up with Basim wearing his <laughs> legacy outfit. I love this duo shot, and, you know, this is basically what you want to do after you get this. Return to the quest with Basim and fight alongside each other. And Nima even tried to create the same bearded look for Eivor. I really love this shot and this shows us that we need New Game Plus because if you already completed the game, there's no way to do this. So please Ubisoft. Next up is Tsukikaze making its return to the photo of Real over on Discord who took this awesome action shot of Eivor jumping on a frost giant with her spear. I'm trying to pinpoint the location but my guess would be the Bifrost in Asgard looking at the colorings oh, in the yeah. background. Really cool. Yeah, really awesome shot and yeah, it leaves some mystery there too because yeah you don't know really where it is so really really awesome and finally we've got kp over on twitter who took the muspelheim wolf for a ride with eivor also wearing the basim outfit looking very mighty and ready for action while the eye of the wolf is like really glowing red wonder if we can bring the wolf through the portal you know when it arrives uh, yeah that, maybe he will finally feel at home <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> of course share your shots especially from the mastery challenges if you got some cool pictures, let them let us know and share them our way. Uh, or, yeah, send them our way, I should say. Subscribe for more Valhalla content. We will have a ton more videos coming your way. And don't check out our previous video on what happens beyond this update by clicking on the screen. For now, we'll speak to you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.